The renowned Stoic philosopher Seneca offered this wisdom, associate with those who will inspire your personal growth and welcome those whom you can positively influence. It's a reminder that we learn while teaching others. Building upon our exploration of the seven personalities last week, which might lead us away from Stoicism, today we shift our focus to a more positive perspective. We immerse ourselves in the individuals who embody Stoic values through their responses to life's challenges, guiding and uplifting us. Join us in this journey of appreciation as we shed light on the figures who truly encapsulate Stoic resilience and wisdom. Type of people number one, the reflective thinker. The reflective thinker holds a unique position in the realm of Stoicism. Why, you may ask, because Stoicism transcends the mere discussion or intellectual exploration of philosophy. It demands the profound internalization of its teaching. The reflective thinker accomplishes precisely this by consistently engaging in self-examination, critical analysis, and profound introspection. Imagine the vast expanse of the ocean. On its surface, it may appear tumultuous, with crashing waves and howling winds, but beneath lies a deep, calm serenity. Similarly, amidst the chaos of the external world, the reflective thinker cultivates an inner tranquility and depth that equips them to navigate life's tempests with grace. They refuse to react impulsively to events. Instead, they methodically contemplate circumstances, comprehend their emotions, and conscientiously select the most virtuous course of action. Now, you might be wondering, how can one cultivate the qualities of a reflective thinker? Well, it all begins with the establishment of a habit of introspection. For instance, journaling, a practice devoutly followed by many Stoics like Marcus Aurelius, serves as a powerful tool for self-examination. By putting their thoughts to paper, they could unravel their biases, make sense of the complexities of the world, and attain a profound sense of clarity. However, introspection is just the beginning. The reflective thinker actively hungers for knowledge, constantly engaging in learning, evolving, and growing. They refuse to accept information at its surface, but rather embark on a deep dive into its intricacies dissecting it and examining it from a multitude of angles. They maintain a critical eye, but without crossing over into cynicism, and they're analytical without becoming overly judgmental. What truly sets apart the reflective thinker is their ability to inspire those around them. In their presence, one feels invigorated, akin to taking in a breath of fresh air. They serve as a reminder of the vital importance of pausing, of taking a step back before rushing forward, and of the immense power derived from truly comprehending oneself. In a world that often prioritizes quick reactions and superficial sound bites, the reflective thinker stands as a beacon of depth and contemplation. If you are fortunate enough to have such an individual in your life, treasure them, for they bring wisdom, tranquility, and perspective, even amidst the chaos of existence. And if you aspire to infuse your life with stoic principles, Nurturing the habit of deep reflection is an excellent place to commence your journey. Type of people number two, the resilient endurer. Throughout the annals of history, particularly in times of adversity, a remarkable group of individuals emerges, the resilient endurers. These are not mere survivors. They are alchemists, adept at transforming their hardships into vehicles for personal growth and development. Picture yourself stranded on an arid and seemingly endless desert path. While many might succumb to the scorching heat and deceptive mirages, the resilient endurer discovers hidden oases of opportunity along the way. They eagerly embrace life's trials, perceiving each obstacle not as a burden to bear, but as a valuable lesson to be cherished and embraced. Imagine a seasoned professional, a critical juncture in their career journey. While most people see a perplexing crossroads, the resilient endurer envisions a multitude of paths that stretch before them, each offering the potential for exploration, skill acquisition, or even the groundwork for groundbreaking endeavors. Their unwavering determination transcends the boundaries of their professional life and extends into their personal relationships. When confronted with conflicts or misunderstandings, they refuse to succumb to bitterness Instead, 
They choose introspection and adaptability as their ally. Their actions resonate with the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius, who famously stated, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. These resilient souls do not merely endure personal challenges. They extend a helping hand to the community. They are the colleagues who, after facing setbacks in their careers, reinvent themselves, or community members who transform personal health challenges into movements for communal well-being. In the presence of the resilient endurer, we find unceasing inspiration, a reminder that life is not solely about enduring trials, but mastering them adeptly. They embody the stoic philosophy of resilience, showcasing the art of enduring and motivating continuous growth, even when the path ahead appears steep and winding. Resilient endurers bring immeasurable benefits, both for themselves and the communities they touch. These individuals possess an extraordinary ability to transform adversity into opportunities for personal growth, resilience, and innovation. Their unwavering spirit not only propels them through life's challenges, but also serves as a source of inspiration and motivation to others. In professional settings, their adaptability and determination lead to pioneering endeavors and the reinvention of career paths. In personal relationships, they foster understanding and harmony, opting for introspection over bitterness during conflict. Beyond their individual achievements, the resilient endurer's commitment to community service and their capacity to transform personal setbacks into communal progress stand as powerful examples of the Stoic philosophy in action. Their existence reminds us that resilience is not merely about enduring trials, but mastering them with grace and determination, ultimately enriching both their lives and the lives of those around them. Type of people number three, the honest advisor. In the complex web of human connections, where a diverse cast of characters plays their roles, the honest advisor shines forth with a remarkable radiance. These individuals are defined by their unwavering commitment to speaking the unvarnished truth, and they unfailingly infuse their words, no matter how uncomfortable, with empathy and sincere goodwill. Think back to a moment when you stood on the precipice of a decision, mired in uncertainty. It's often the voice of the candid advisor that breaks through the confusion, shedding light on the path ahead. These advisors are not mere echoes, parroting our own thoughts or offering sugar-coated affirmations. Instead, they boldly tread where others might hesitate, urging us to explore the limits of our understanding and prompting deep introspection. Imagine a young writer eagerly sharing her debut manuscript with a circle of friends. While many are quick to applaud, the honest advisor, discerning her raw potential, provides invaluable feedback. They illuminate areas primed for improvement, not to dampen spirits, but to pave the way for mastery. Their unwavering belief in her talent sometimes outshines even her own self-assurance. In the professional arena, they serve as team members with a remarkable ability to tactfully illuminate oversights, ensuring that the collective effort maintains the highest standard of quality. Within the intimate circle of family, they may take on the role of a wise grandparent or a caring cousin, gently probing our life choices, not to impose their will, but driven by a profound concern rooted in love. This situation resonates with the words of Seneca, a gem cannot be polished without friction, nor a person perfected without trial. The honest advisor embodies this indispensable element of friction, a gentle yet effective force that smoothens our rough edges, enabling us to shine our brightest. Their honesty is not abrasive or impulsive, but rather wrapped in kindness and a genuine desire for our growth. Guided by an unwavering moral compass and an enduring commitment to our development, their intention is never to diminish, but to elevate, refining our perspectives and steering us toward excellence. In a world often tainted by pretense and fleeting flattery, the honest advisor stands tall as an epitome of genuine authenticity. Their wisdom is an invaluable asset on our journey of self-improvement and personal growth. Consider a scenario in a corporate setting where a project team is collaborating on a crucial client presentation. As the deadline approaches, everyone seems satisfied with their work, 
eager for a successful outcome. However, it's the honest advisor within the team who steps forward. Instead of simply nodding in agreement or avoiding potential conflict, they diplomatically point out a crucial oversight in the data analysis that could jeopardize the entire presentation's accuracy. This advisor doesn't seek to undermine or criticize, but to ensure that the collective work maintains the highest level of quality and integrity. Their fearless truth-telling serves as a catalyst for a swift correction, ultimately leading to a well-received presentation and preserving the team's reputation. In a family context, picture a young adult grappling with a significant life decision, such as choosing a career path or deciding to pursue further education. While some family members may offer unconditional support or urge the individual to follow a particular path, it's the honest advisor within the family, perhaps an elder sibling or a wise grandparent, who gently encourages a deeper exploration of the option. Their guidance is driven not by a desire to control or impose their perspective, but by a genuine concern for the individual's well-being and personal growth. They ask probing questions, offering thoughtful insights that challenge assumptions and broaden horizons, ultimately aiding the young adult in making a more informed and fulfilling choice for their future. These examples illustrate how the honest advisor navigates various aspects of life, whether in a professional or familial context, to ensure that their guidance, although candid, is always delivered with empathy, kindness, and a sincere commitment to the growth and betterment of those they advise. Type of people number four, the contented minimalist. In an era dominated by unbridled consumerism, where one's value often seems linked to excessive wealth and material possessions, the contented minimalist emerges as a breath of fresh air. Their philosophy transcends the mere pursuit of ownership. It embodies a profound realization that genuine contentment springs from simplicity and mindful living rather than relentless accumulation. Imagine a dwelling unassuming and devoid of flamboyance, yet exuding tranquility. It isn't cluttered with the latest tech marvel or bursting wardrobes. Rather, it breathes with space, clarity, and items that resonate with purpose. Every artifact speaks of a cherished memory, narrates a tale, or is essential for daily living, such as the sanctuary of a contented minimalist. Consider the colleague who, instead of a lavish birthday bash, chooses a meaningful celebration. They might gather an intimate group for a meditative retreat or a heartwarming meal at home. The focus drifts from pomp to genuine camaraderie and treasured moment. In our digitally centric epoch, there are individuals who value the weight of a penned letter over a transient tweet or a soul-stirring conversation in lieu of bustling gathering. Their life choices emanate from a profound grasp of life's true essence, echoing the contemplation of Marcus Aurelius. Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself in your way of thinking. The contented minimalist embodies this sentiment. Their joy isn't tethered to external accumulations, but rooted in gratitude, simplicity, and purposeful existence. Their lifestyle is a compelling testament that true bliss is not derived from the volume of our acquisitions, but from the depth of our appreciation. Emulating the contented minimalist, we discern that genuine contentment doesn't spring from ceaseless accumulation. Instead, it blossoms from introspection, a heart full of gratitude, and the profound joys nestled in life's humble moment. So, would you like to become a contented minimalist? If your answer is yes, bear in mind that becoming a contented minimalist involves a deliberate shift in mindset and lifestyle choices. Firstly, it requires a critical examination of your possessions and a willingness to declutter your life. Start by letting go of items that no longer serve a purpose or bring you joy. Secondly, prioritize experiences over material possessions. Invest in activities that nourish your soul and create lasting memories. Thirdly, practice mindful consumption by evaluating the true value of items before making a purchase. Consider whether an item truly aligns with your values and needs rather than succumbing to impulsive buying. Lastly, foster an appreciation for the simple joys in life, such as spending time in nature, enjoying a meaningful conversation, 
or relishing a homemade meal. Embrace the idea that true contentment arises from the quality of your experiences and connections rather than the quantity of your possessions. Type of people number five, the empathetic helper. The empathetic helper is an individual who possesses a remarkable capacity to not only understand and empathize with the emotions of others, but also to provide support and assistance in times of need. These individuals go beyond mere sympathy. They actively engage with the emotions and experiences of those around them, offering comfort, guidance and solace. Empathetic helpers have an uncanny knack for discerning underlying emotions, even when they may not be explicitly expressed. They offer a compassionate presence and a willingness to lend a hand or a listening ear, often going above and beyond to make a positive impact on the lives of those they assist. Their actions are driven by a genuine desire to alleviate suffering, promote well-being, and foster a sense of connection within their communities. In the cacophony and frenzy of our modern world, there exist rare beacons of warmth and understanding, comparable to a gentle hearth on a wintry night. These are the empathetic helpers, individuals who don't merely observe others' emotions, but resonate deeply with them, providing aid and comfort that often goes beyond mere words. They possess a unique ability to perceive the unspoken, to sense when someone is in need, and to respond with compassion and empathy. Their actions are driven by an innate understanding of the human condition, and they offer solace and support to those facing challenges or experiencing distress. In a world often characterized by haste and indifference, the empathetic helper stands out as a source of genuine care and connection, a reminder that kindness and understanding can light the way in even the darkest of times. Think of that team member who, amid deadlines and meetings, senses when someone's spirit is waning. They might approach, not with prying probes, but with an authentic offer to chat or a spontaneous coffee break. Their uncanny knack for discerning underlying emotions often elevates them to the role of an unofficial guardian of collective well-being, restoring spirits, and fortifying team bonds. Reflect on the acquaintance who spontaneously drops off a freshly baked pie for a household navigating tough times, or the commuter who, observing a fellow passenger's teary eyes, gently passes a comforting note, silently reinforcing faith in humanity. Drawing inspiration from Seneca's profound statement, wherever there is a human being, there is an opportunity for kindness. The empathetic helper does more than just acknowledge these moments. They actively engage in them, weaving a tapestry of solace and understanding. Their actions spotlight the monumental impact of simple, empathetic gestures. It isn't about ostentatious displays or headline, worthy acts, but those sincere often overlook tokens of kindness that ripple through hearts and community. Through their deeds, they underscore that genuine strength isn't derived from detachment, but from deeply connecting, harnessing our compassion to mend, elevate, and bridge divide. The empathetic helper exemplifies the profound potency of unadulterated altruistic connection, beckoning us to transcend our individual confines and genuinely engage with the heartbeats around us. Type of people number six, the disciplined learner. Amidst the complex mosaic of human characteristics, the disciplined learner emerges as an exemplar of unwavering perseverance and boundless passion. Unlike many who tread the path of learning sporadically, driven by fleeting motivations, the disciplined learner forges ahead with an enduring commitment and an insatiable thirst for knowledge. Consider that schoolmate who, amidst the allure of fleeting distractions, diligently carved out sacred moments each day for focused study. Their drive wasn't rooted in anxiety-driven exam preparation, but rather in a genuine reverence for the subject matter. Their meticulously organized notes served as a testament to their deep appreciation for enlightenment rather than a mere pursuit of academic accolades. Reflect on that friend or acquaintance who embarks on a new undertaking. While many may falter due to dwindling enthusiasm, the disciplined learner persists. Whether they are mastering the intricacies of guitar chords, striving for fluency in a foreign language, or delving into the complexities of chess, 
They approach each endeavor with a systematic and rigorous mindset. They understand that true proficiency is the result of sustained effort, not just momentary bursts of enthusiasm. In their professional endeavors, they distinguish themselves by continually refining their expertise, motivated not solely by job requirements, but by an unwavering commitment to perpetual growth. These individuals are a constant presence at seminars, immersed in industry, relevant literature, and consistently at the forefront of their respective fields, in line with the profound wisdom of Epictetus, who stated, only the educated are free. The disciplined learner embodies this concept of freedom, liberated from the constraints of complacency and constantly expanding their intellectual horizons. Their presence serves as a testament to the importance of persistent dedication over sporadic bursts of enthusiasm. For them, knowledge isn't something absorbed in intermittent surges, but rather nurtured continuously, an integral part of their daily life. Through their steadfast pursuit, the disciplined learner silently but powerfully advocates that the quest for knowledge is not a fleeting endeavor, but an enduring voyage where the satisfaction is derived as much from the journey as from the ultimate attainment of understanding. Type of people number seven, the present moment lover. In a world characterized by constant distractions and an unending pursuit of future ambitions, the present moment enthusiast emerges as a refreshing presence. In a culture that often celebrates multitasking, and places great importance on meticulous future planning, these individuals shine with their remarkable capacity to fully embrace the present moment. Imagine that friend who, during your conversations, generously offers you their undivided attention. The smartphone lies neglected, their gaze remains unwavering, and they engage so profoundly that every passing minute feels like an hour. Each interaction, a heartfelt connection, between kindred soul. For them, the value lies not in the quantity of time spent together, but in the exceptional quality of the bond they nurture. Reflect upon parents who, despite the whirlwind of daily responsibilities, carve out precious moments to wholeheartedly engage with their children. Their thoughts aren't preoccupied with pending chores or unanswered emails. Instead, they immerse themselves in imaginative adventures savoring shared laughter and boundless creativity, cherishing the fleeting marvels of their children's innocence and youth. In the serene embrace of the natural world, the present moment enthusiast is that individual who pauses to genuinely revel in the enchantment of a sunset. They immerse themselves in the rich tapestry of colors, allowing the tranquility of the moment to envelop them and savoring the fleeting magnificence it offers. Rather than hastily capturing a photo for the sake of digital recognition, they absorb the transient wonder with every fiber of their being. This approach echoes the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius, who wisely advised us to refrain from dwelling on the past or fixating on an uncertain future, but to anchor ourselves firmly in the present. The present moment enthusiast embodies this sagacity, acknowledging that while the canvas of life extends across the realms of the past, present, and future. Its most vibrant and vivid strokes are painted in the immediacy of the nap. Their approach to life illuminates the profound truth that while preparing for the future has its merits, reflecting on the past provides valuable lessons, and life's most enchanting moments unfold in the present. By wholeheartedly embracing the current moment, the present moment enthusiast not only derives the deepest joys from life's fleeting instances, but also encourages others to free themselves from the weight of past regrets and the anxieties of an uncertain future. They extend an invitation to revel in the captivating spectacle of the unfolding present, where the true essence of existence resides. As we conclude today's journey, delving into the esteemed individuals celebrated by Stoicism, it becomes imperative to internalize the wisdom they impart. Rather than merely admiring them from a distance, we should aspire to embrace and embody the values they represent. They serve as guiding beacons, illuminating the stoic virtues we aspire to nurture within ourselves. Take a moment to reflect on your own relationships and encounters. Do you have the privilege of knowing such influential figures in your life? More importantly, 
consider your own role in the grand tapestry of human interaction. Are you serving as an inspiring presence for others, just as these remarkable individuals have done for you? Remember, Stoicism is not confined to self-improvement. It encourages us to radiate positivity and enlightenment throughout our broader community. In doing so, we contribute to the collective betterment of society, embodying the true essence of Stoic philosophy. If our discussion today has struck a chord, I encourage you to explore these ideas further. Share your thoughts and personal experiences in the comments section. Consider whether you might already embody some of the qualities of these inspiring individuals and how you can further cultivate them. If you find that you are not yet one of these guiding souls, take a moment to reflect on what might be holding you back. With introspection and effort, you can work towards becoming a source of wisdom and inspiration for those around you. Until we meet again, I hope you will continue to seek out and surround yourself with individuals who embody these stoic virtues. Strive to manifest these qualities in your own life and let your actions and character resonate with profound insights and virtue.